vehicle turns here. I'm telling about the intracatonic basins inside the land mass. Mala is the paleogenic basin. So intracatonic basins, you know, which are under our roof basin, you know, like you know, Kambe basin or Barmer basin or Krishna Godavari basins. Why they don't have any salt deposit? So I was telling you, you know, probably we were not in the right climate that time. Right climate means suppose this is a story 200 million year back. 200 million million year means what age? Is it Jurassic? Jurassic? Jurassic or Triassic in between. That is the period, na? So where was India during Jurassic time? So to begin with Jurassic, you know, it was in the this is which is equator. This is equator. This is equator. This is uh, This is tropic. This is polar. This is polar. So this is so India is now somewhere here, you know. So during uh, beginning of Jurassic, you know, we are in the cold climate. In the cold climate. Because just we have finished our Paleogenic Calcium Boulder Valley. So we are in the cold climate. Around 200 million years. Let us see how long it stays this side, you know. How long India stays this side. So clear, na? 200 million years we are in the cold climate. Very close to the pole. So India is moving towards north. But you see, again it will come back to cold climate, you see. Now it is moving so fast, you see. It crossed, it crossed that and went to the other side. You know. That is the rhythm, you know. We are most of the time in the cold climate during Jurassic periods. Probably, I am just giving you a region, you know. Just a valid region. Probably because of this cold climate, cold situation, we didn't get much evaporates. For uh, development of evaporate, you, know, you, need to, uh, you need to have a long stay, you know, in uh, Tropic of Cancer or Tropic of Capricorn. Generally, you will develop these evaporates. Otherwise, you will not get it. Probably because of that reason, you know, most of our basins are salt uh, free. Most of our basins are salt. So, we will close it. Then we we'll see our discussion. See, we have been seeing you know, something related to compression of shipping. I don't put dynamics. Just we'll see what I'm doing. Salt deposits. 
But suppose, let us take a case like this, you know. And now, this area is extremely going up. Understood? So, what will happen to the salt bed? Salt bed, he has a load hoga. Gravitational loading hoga. Because of its height, you know, there will be loading. So, this type of structure will develop, you know. I was telling you that day, na. This part, this part, this type of structure will develop. These overlying rocks, you know, they will be caught by these faults. Because you are expanding like this, you are pulling it down. So, faults will develop here. For In the top part. Because the material is coming down. Just like along the hill slope, you know, the landslide takes place. Similarly, these sediments will try to come down, flow, developing these faults. And these faults will not continue into the salt. Because salt is your ductile. Salt is ductile. So these faults will all terminate along the salt bed. So here, the salt bed, you know, will flow. Over this, <coughs> this, this, this will flow just like a boat. This is the liquid or the water, you know, over which these boats will float. Because they are broken into small pieces now. So individually, this is a raft or a boat. Follow this point now. And the salt, from here, you know, the salt will rise up. Read to diabetes. Like this, you know. So this is the portion, you know, where the slope is high, this type of structure will develop. But as you go down, you know, as you go down, this gravitational loading is not there. Na? So all these materials will go, 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 go down and accumulate here at the top. It is pulling down. So these blocks is of because it is putting pressure there, you know, they will no, press, not pull. And this salt, what will happen to this salt? Salt will, uh, there will be thrust planes here. <coughs> thrust. So this salt bed will enter into it. Yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. This salt will be enter into the thrust. So, as you go towards the toe, you will get salt seeds. Coming out of this base. So, this is your. And in between, you have neither extension nor compression. So, this type of diabetes will be there. So in the deltaic environment where there is thick salt deposits, you will get a transition from rocks to a dike to crust. In the same environment. So that means, suppose there are many very important deltas in the world, you know, where these type of structures are found. So he is telling one is Mexico. Then, yeah, Mexico Delta has given me an example. Or even Iran also you may get. But Mexico Delta is the right example where these type of transitions are going. And it is all full of hydrocarbons. So the entire thing is an extensional basin. Basin is an extensional thing. But at different parts of the basin, you know, you may get a through extensional structures or the, the rollovers, rollers, rollers here, here like is here thrust. Even in the extensional environment also, <coughs> you will get some thrust seeds. Because it is a load. Because the whatever line, the rocks, whatever line over the salt, they are just floating. Floating down, you know, down the slope. Because of this, 
salt at the base. So this is called a dichroma. Salt band works as a dichroma. This allows you know for the overlying rocks to flow over it or float over it. Understood this pattern? So similarly, what he is telling you know. Can I remove it? Huh? Now see another situation. What is that? Take the case of Himalaya. Or Himalaya. So here, this is Himalayan mountain. High hill, you know. Just I am drawing a rough sketch, you know, like this. Himalayan hill is like this. And the sediments are being brought down no? and left on the indo gangetic plate. This is the plain area. So materials are coming from Himalaya and spreading over the plain area. Huh? So if you take a section like this, if you take a section like this, it is something like this, no? you see. Something like this. No? So this is the origin. Alright, this is the origin. So this is what what name I should give this part. Four lane. In front of the origin is your four lane. Now this four lane will receive materials from here, you know. Follow this point. No? And they will be deposited here, just like your indo gangetic alloy. Similarly, one subplane is similarly also being deposited here during the Pleistocene or Tertiary time. You know. Sivalik was being deposited here. Then Sivalik days went out. Now, the present day, quaternary deposits are going on along the indo gangetic plane. All horizontal lying beds, you know, in the plane. Now, what he says, you know, suppose there is a salt bed here. There is a salt bed here. Yeah. Salt bed. Now this area is under compression no? compared to the earlier case. Earlier case you have a delta. Delta is the environment you know. There also high yield was there. And this was supposed to going to ocean. This is the this part was the edge of a basin, but this is the edge of a mountain bed. Just make a difference. Here, the basin is opening up, you know, it is becoming larger and larger. You know. This is the delta environment, say Bay of Bengal, the Bengal fan. Bengal fan is a delta, now it is growing in an extensional environment. Whereas, the Siwaliks or the indo gangetic plane, they are growing in a compressional environment because from this side, China is pushing and this side, India is pushing from this side. So this part of the crust, you know, is undergoing a compression. But Bay of Bengal part is undergoing an extension. Did you find the difference? In both cases, the salt bed is being deposited. But there it is affected by a gravity, driven extension. But in this case, what will happen since we are compressing, this salt bed, over this you have the sediments, huh? the sandstone, shale, those sediments are there. But below, suppose you have a salt bed. Now, what will happen to this? Now, if there is no salt bed, because you are compressing, so this, all these things would have been broken, you know, into small, small, third block, first block. First block, good jata. Understood, na? But now what is happening, you know, you have a salt bed here. Salt bed here. Just like I was telling you, na? Suppose you have a pillar and base, you have a salt bed. How easy it is to break? Similarly, this, imagine this is a pillar, you know, and base you have a salt bed. 
So this bed, you know, this bed will just jump over it, you know, jump over it, and salt will go into it. We are facing from this side now. We are facing from this side. The salt part will push it up. I mean, this is liquid now. This is ductile. If the ductile material is not there, then pushing would have been very difficult. So, but up is the upper. You keep some books. Books is not full dal dant ke rakh lo hi, and then you press. Even though you are pressing, you know, it may break, but it will not glide. But suppose at the base you have some lubricant, lubricant, you know. So the slip will be very easy. That is what is telling. If salt bear here, these individual blocks, you know, will jump over the other blocks, you know. So this works as a again decomer. Decomer means a weak layer which occurs at the base of a set of cover sediments, just like there. But here in this case, what is happening? The thrusts are developed. They are normal faults are developed. Now this type of situation, you know, you see, this type of situation is there. Three types of structures are developed. Three types of structure are developed. So those are called called related holes. Understand what is the starting point? You should have a salt bed at the base over which you have these plastic rocks, and this thrust will develop because of compression. Now, first situation is something like this, you know. This is a salt bed, and these are different rock units, and the thrust develops here. It rises up, and there is another salt bed, you know, like this. This is one type of structure situation. Now, second type of situation. Second type of situation is something like this, you know. You have salt bed. Thrust develops here. It rises like this. This is the plastic top. But there is no salt bed at the top. Third one is something like this. There is salt bed in which the thrust develops, but it is not going out. Three situations. One case goes like this: lime chalk developing a ramp, then becomes flat. This is flat. This is a ramp. This is a flat. Here it is a flat. There is a ramp. There is no flat. Here it is only flat. So all these situations, you know, cases occurs there. The last case structure I was showing. Base we have the decolma, and we have the sediments above. So three situations can coexist occur together. Now if this is the case, <coughs> this is the case where we have flat, ramp, and flat. So here is a salt bed. Here is a salt bed. In between you have a ramp because there is no there are all plastics. Understood? So in this case, the structure is something like this. You see? So as it is, the salt bed जो है ना ये salt bed है ना ये ये salt bed को आप ऐसे लेके ऐसे लेके इतना डाल दो. ये जो salt bed नीचे था. It will rise, climb up, and just put its head here. So other beds will just follow till this point. So other beds, you know, will just follow and I say, I say that again, I say that again. Okay. Again, the salt will pass up. But in the foot wall, beds will be remaining there. Very easy to draw, na? No problem. Just you know, remember the situation. If you have flat, round, flat, then the salt bed is caught halfway. 
तो दिस हॉल्ट बैक टू 